It's there. And the quality hasn't really kicked in in this opening ten minutes. And apart from that stonewall penalty that Maldives weren't given, there hasn't really been any chance, but here is a break. Oh, that now is a penalty. Ali Ashfaq is on the floor. The goalkeeper has got away with a challenge. Ref, uh, the coach, Jankek, cannot believe what has not been given. Joseph Jankek is... Well, this is the incident. Ali Ashfaq is taken. That is now three stonewall penalties Maldives have not been given. It's really difficult to explain why they wouldn't have been given. Still, remains goalless. Sri Lanka nil, Maldives nil. Long ball hoisted up. Viraj can pick that one up comfortably enough. And Sri Lanka. The fans are really rather enjoying it. Again, though, the, the spirit is there from Fazla. The, the quality from the Sri Lankans is lacking just a little bit today. Fazlo into space for the new man, Fernando. And Fernando has gone round the back and is then blocked off legitimately by Mohamed Jamil. But Fernando showed a, a nifty turn of pace down the right hand side. And for the second time, we've had a foul throw. Maldives doing remarkably well to keep their cool in the circumstances with so many big decisions having gone against them. Basile into Mukta. And a kick there from Chana, right in front of the assistant referee. Of course, goes unseen, untalked about. Have a look at this, he's been fouled, and there's a kick. That mucked up. Mukta once again into Ali Ashfaq. Ali Ashfaq running at Sanjaya. Ismail Mohammed again has to leap to avoid a flailing leg. Ahmed Saeed's cross is well cleared, well defended by the covering Gunaratna. Concentration on the watcher's face. Ali Umar, Ali Ashfaq couldn't convert. It was probably just six inches too high. Sanjaya clears. Korean coach, that's a good expression. Ahmed Saeed wins the throw in for the blue shirt of Maldives, who are slowly but surely improving despite the intimidating atmosphere. That um, Ibrahim Fazil, though, has lost out. 
good ball into the pacey Fernando. And Fernando will run at his man. Fernando is through, he's got support in the middle. Fernando, it's saved by Imran Mohamed's feet. Imran was going the wrong way and has stuck out a leg. Best chance of this second half to Sri Lanka. Ismail Mohamed, Ali Ashfaq. Well, there's plenty in this game. Abraham Fazil, nice touch. Assad finds Mukda, oh, it's just behind him. And he's got a little twist there. And that's a nasty little one, because he's caught his studs in the ground. Look at the goalkeeper, gambles and does well to just rebalance himself. But Fernando has got a little bit of pace. Definitely just twisted his ankle, caught his studs in the turf. Let's see how good that magic spray is. Still, the beat goes on. Nice ball down the line for Chana, and he's got plenty of yellow shirts to aim for in the penalty area. He doesn't find any of them, though. And that's picked up by the left fullback, Ahmed Saeed. Sabah Mohammed, long ball over the top. Viraj is patient enough to wait for it to drop into his penalty area. Chana loses out and then gets an important little toe in. The flag is raised for offside, an advantage played by referee. Sabah Mohammed. Sanjay has done fairly well since he came up. Chana is finding more and more time and space in this second half. Oh, and he's got round to the byline. Might break second block. There are plenty of blue shirts in around the penalty area. Chana decides to let that go on, go out for a throw it, a corner kick. And the pressure is being raised by. Sri Lanka, and it's since Fernando has come on. Side netting. It was the wrong option from the defender. Gunnar Ratna. Mohammed, who's made a couple of very good saves in this game. One from the now gone Kasson Nadika, and then from Nadika's replacement, Fernando. He's the man on the ball now, and giving the ball away to Ibrahim Fazil, and working hard to try to win it back. Fazil's done well. This is Mukta back on. Moving a little bit gingerly, but that twisted ankle doesn't look to be too bad. Cross though, no, not great. Mukta's done well. Aliuma throwing. It's 
still we await the first goal, the deadlock to be broken. There have been openings, there's been good goalkeeping from Imran Mohammed in the Maldives goal. There have certainly been valid claims for a penalty for Maldives. Mohamed Jamil, uh, his headed clearance. Now there's a break on here. Fernando. Skipper. Maduranga. Fernando tries to put Jamil under pressure. Chana loses out. The clearance is made. And it's effective, if not pretty. And the free kick goes to Maldives. Uh, feeling that ankle which he twisted just a, a few moments ago. Clearly being bulked. Gonna run that bit too, bit too tight. Ali Ashvak, always willing to take players on, but there's five yellow shirts around him. Still, he takes them on. Eventually, he's bundled over. He leaves his foot in. There's a little bit of afters knocking around. Ibrahim Fazil. Midway through this second half, remains goalless. India await in the final for the winners of this semi-final. Sri Lanka with home advantage, unbeaten in the tournament. Maldives, they won their first two games comfortably, were very unlucky to taste defeat against India in the last game. And with the final being in Mali, they would love to win this to go back there. Ismail Mohamed, free kick conceded. Just a little handball and we've got a, another change. And it's the final change for Sri Lanka and this one is a popular one. Asmir Mohamed coming on the right-hand side. straight into the action. And it's a decent ball. And it's a corner kick has been won for Sri Lanka. And substitutions can often really make a difference and Ashmere seems to have boosted the whole stadium. Straight on the ground. Korean coach Jan Jung is the man trying to orchestrate Sri Lanka from the sidelines. You do suspect a single goal either way will be enough to win this tie. And if it's for Sri Lanka, the place will erupt.